Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. Welcome to my studio. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Today is Make It Monday. Can you believe it's Monday already? Oh my gosh, where does the time go? Every day seems to be just flying right by. So today we're going to be making ephemera. We're also going to have a few show and shares of some uh, things I picked up at Etsy and um, whatever else I can come up with. So I hope you'll hang in here, you'll come along and have a play with me and let's do some fun things. So first things first, what you see here are some ephemera we're going to be working on and I will be going over, you know, what we're doing here. What I think I'll do is I'll just do the show and share real quick because it's just a really, really quick little one of a few things I just got from Journey of Crafting. Uh, I, I, um, I think this is my first shop with her. I don't think I've shopped with her before. I found her through Gail. Thank you, Gail, because really, I mean, if no one shared these things, there are so many things I wouldn't be able to have in my studio because I wouldn't know where to get it or how to find it or what name it was under. So I'm really thankful. So hopefully you all feel that way too. It's just a real quick little thing. There's not a lot going on here, but I did want to share because I got some pretty things. So my favorite thing, as you know, is stamp period paper. And I got this Orchids and Cats, and I bet you can guess why I got it. I don't have a project for it right now, but these cats look like my babies. In fact, this one looks a lot like Misty with the white feet, the white on her chest, and the white on her nose. She's a little bit more gray and black. And this looks like Tommy back here. So anyway, I got this one in honor of my babies. So I just thought it looked like a really fun paper pad. Um, I was looking at the ephemera and all the wonderful things that are here, and I couldn't resist it. So... I want to share that with you. I'm going to put that down on the floor. Then I got some of these darling little um, things to put in shaker packs, which I'm going to be doing a video on that pretty soon. So I thought I'd share those with you. So those are adorable. I'm glad I got those. I love all the colors and all the pretties. It goes very well. Maybe not the yellow but and the purple, but the rest of it goes really well with my shabby work. I also got the die cuts that go with the thread stamp period paper pack. I have, I got the paper pads in two sizes and I got the rice paper and at the at where I got them, they didn't have the die cuts. So I found these online and, and when as soon as I saw them on Journey on Crafting, I'm like, sold, mine. Because I'm gonna be doing sewing journals. I also picked up a few little uh, crochet doilies to, to use in my work. And I did, I have a lot of the rice paper, but I couldn't, I didn't have this one. And I thought this was beautiful with the vintage scissors on it. Stunning paper. So that's to go with this little number here. So that's about it. Nothing big, nothing fancy. Just a little, a little something, something for my, my studio. Like I need one more thing, right? <laughs> so I want to share that with you. And I think that's it for my shares today. If I find something else, I'll let you know. But I was looking around and I don't see anything else new that I've added, you know, that might be of interest to you. You know, I bought my cutting board and all that good stuff. So I do have more tools coming in that I've ordered. So we'll see. And for Mother's Day, my son usually gives me a nice Amazon card. So there will be new things coming. But there's some tools I'd like to get and I'm waiting on those. So we're going to go ahead and work on some ephemera. And this is what I originally planned to do with my videos was to do some ephemera, you know, on camera so you guys could see me how I work and, and what I do. So that's what I'm going to do here. Now, these right here were inspired by Tina Shabby Dabby Doodah, and I'll show you how I made those briefly. And then I don't know where I, I saw this one, but these are some pieces I'm working on. And this is all to add to my stash as I'm stash building, as I told you in one of my other videos. So that's what these are all about. So I thought we'd do a little decorating. I have some stamping to do. It's just going to be a quick little Monday video. To be honest, I'm making this the week before uh, because I wasn't sure if I would have time on Monday to do any videos. So that's where we're at. Alrighty. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll start with this one. This is really unique. What you do is you is this has a little tab here. You flip up the top. You open it up and you have your writing paper. Isn't that adorable? And then there's your back. You could glue it down, stick it in. I'm thinking it'd be great stuck in a pocket. It's great for just a wonderful little secretive, you know, thing. And I'm wondering as I'm looking at this, I love the way I scallop the bottom of this. 
I'm thinking I would like this scalloped as well, at least in a few places. So what I might do, I think I'm gonna try it. What the heck, why not? What's the worst that could happen? I don't like it, right? It's just paper. Then I'm gonna take a few corners here. There we go. Oh, I love it. Okay, that works really well. So let me get some ink here. I'm going to use my um, vintage photo. And I'm gonna do some quick ink in here. Oh, I'm getting an Amazon delivery, ladies. Ha <laughs> ha, I wonder what I ordered, I can't remember. I can never remember, you would think I would know everything I ordered, I used to track it all. Now I use my email to track it um, when I remember to look at it. I'm terrible looking at email, absolutely horrible. I used to be on it all the time. Now I'm like, eh, I'll get to it. So if you're emailing me something <laughs> for an order or anything, uh, don't be surprised if I'm not right on it. Doctor told me I had to take it easy and not be not be doing that kind of stuff all the time. So I I know I've told you ladies I've had a lot of migraines lately and I had a whole bunch of tests done, so I'm waiting for the results on that. Hoping we don't get any shocking news we don't expect. Okay, I had to fix those. They just were, they had a little corner. So I'm not on it when it comes to email or messages on Etsy, which is why my daughter uh, takes care of our shop. You're messaging her if you message and then she screenshots, screen shoots it or forwards it to me so I can see, um, you know, what came. I do know when she tells me. But, and she's pretty good about staying on me about that. She knows she has to nag her mama a little bit. I gave her some permission there. I normally do not like to be nagged about anything. It irritates me, but I get it. It's necessary. Okay. So what I'm doing now is I'm edging all my little bits and pieces because once I decorate, I do not want to have to go back to this. I got everything. Gosh, it's hard to tell sometimes. But if I need to, I can add some more when I'm working on it. Some more always makes me think of s'mores. Let us always makes me think of lettuce. <laughs> it's not weird how my brain works. Overactive creative brain is what I have. I suffer from it severely. Alrighty. Um, I could just say this is done and call it a day but I, I just don't think that's like me so you know oh I want to I do want to show you how I made one of these so I'm going to go over to this one I started it and then realized oh I, I should show you guys so what you do is you take your piece of whatever size you want to work with however big or small um these are probably eight by ten or something like that once I cut off all the white edges so the first thing I do is I, I turn it right side up I fold it in half then I take and I fold this down to match over here, flip it over, fold it down to match that side, and there you have it. And in my case, I wanted rounded corners. Tina did not do that. That's just something, that's me doing my thing. I didn't do a very good job. I did this late, late last night, um, this one, so I could have it to show you. And I think I did a bad job. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead I'm not going to round the upper corners yet. I'm going to wait on that. So now what we want to do is we want to turn it around and we want to decide how long do we want this upper flap. So I want it, I'm going to say about here. If we go edge to edge, we should get it pretty straight. You know, if we go up the sides there. So we're going to do that. I know I need my bone folder. Okay, then I'm gonna go back here, and go back here. Okay, now we wanna make sure, decide on your front. This is gonna be my front so that when I fold this all up, this is gonna be the front and the flap is gonna come down this way. So I'm gonna take my scissors, excuse my bare arms. It's the first time they've been out all winter, but it's hot today. I am filming it 
in the week of the 80s. It's really, really windy today. It's actually Wednesday when I'm filming this, so it's for Monday. So I'm gonna, there's a line right here. I don't know if you could see it, but there's a line right where I folded it down. And I wanna cut to the inside of the line, not on that side, on this side. So I'm gonna move it in, my scissors in just a little bit. And I'm gonna go right up to my little line here. Now, when Tina did hers, she cut them at an angle. I'm not going to do that. You can cut it any way you want. You can have any kind of edge you want. You can use decorative scissors, whatever you, whatever you fancy. So there we go. Now, if it's tight up at the top, which that one is a little tight, that's a little out of, I'm gonna just trim it. Oh, I have to be careful because I've done this before where I've overcut. Let me get my, my itty bitties. Or I can control the tips a little bit better and get it right up to that edge because I didn't want to cut my flap off. <laughs> I kind of did that the first time. I wasn't real happy with myself. So there we have it. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I like mine to um, be rounded, so I'm just going to stick the little edges in there. If you want a really good tutorial on this, um, detailed tutorial, go find Tina's Mass Makes for last Tuesday. And you'll find the how-to on this. I'm not doing this as a tutorial. This is just I'm decorating these for my shop so, and for my journals. So um, Now, if I liked the rounded corners, so I can't do that one, obviously. So I'm going to do these first. Get my... And then I'm going to pick this one right here up. And there we go. Alrighty. So, like I said, if you want to see it over and over and how to do it, please go watch Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah. She did make a bunch of these. I'm not doing these as a tutorial. These are something that's going in my shop, and I'm going to decorate them today. So I, I, I just shared it with you how she did it. And this will need some kind of closure, and there's all kinds of things you could do. You could do a circle. You could do a flower, you could do a tag. I chose flowers because that's my thing. I chose roses, so that's that's how those are gonna be done, okay? So there you go. Um, I'm trying to decide which one I wanna do first. I, I like them all, so. I have my little handy dandy box of envelopes here that have tags, words, um, all kinds of things. I think this one's too long for these. Yeah, I know where they're gonna get used though. It's not gonna be on that one, but I have numbers. I think I'll pull some of those out. I have um, words from a jewel design, lots of those. And I have some more numbers that are different colors. And then I have some definitions and a variety of other butterflies and things. So, ah, uh, yeah, I can do butterflies. So let me um, grab all my little butterflies and all my little goodies. You know what I'm doing. You watch me long enough, you have a good idea. Some of the things I might use on here today, I'm really not sure. I'm kind of, um, ooh, I have these two. Okay. So we have lots of, oh, I almost fell on the floor. I missed my chair. Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Good thing I still have some reflexes. <laughs> you know, you would have heard was a thunk and probably some of bad adult words that are not allowed on YouTube. So it's a good thing I didn't hit that floor. I'm going to get a drink of water. I startled myself there. I literally completely missed the chair. I caught one cheek on it. <laughs> I think it's big enough to catch me. So. Oh my gosh, ladies. Honestly, this is like my third video, so it could be why I'm a little crazy. Anyway, not an excuse, <laughs> just an explanation. Oh, I almost hurt my, your little friend almost hurt herself. I love these roses. Here we go again. I don't want to cover them up. Oh, what is wrong with me? It's just paper, girl. Well, if I kind of put it up there, and then maybe I could add a little butterfly. Let me see what I have in my 
little box of butterflies here. I want something in the pinks. Mm, buns in kind of, doesn't it? I might have to get a different, I think I need a different kind of butterfly. I think I need some like that kind of butterfly maybe. Mm. You know, this, this pink's bugging me. Well, I do have it there, so that might not be a bad one actually. That might be a good butterfly for that. I don't, sorry my little friend, but I kept the antennas, but I really don't like them. Mm. Gotta get my little bucket out. This is bugging me. I think um, the color is going to bother me. I'm, I'm going to probably end up putting something over it because I don't like the flower that's on there. I may have to, I may have to put a butterfly up there. We will see. I think that one, because it's similar in color as if it's laying on the rose, you know? Yeah, I think so. I, I just don't care for it. I, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking when I put that on there. It looked good in the evening light, but you know, what is in the day and what is in at night are two different things. Keep that in mind when you're working, that what you may pull out at one time a day is wonderful. And then the next time you're like, yuck, what was I thinking? So what was I thinking? <laughs> that I thought it looked great. That probably did look great at night. I just not so good in the. I don't like the dark ink on that too well. I think that's probably what's bothering me. Let's go for the pink oxide. I did re I did use the reinker on here. Let's kind of dull down that. Um, there we go. I'm gonna cover that up. Yeah, and I'm gonna put a little pearl on it, and that'll be good. So I hope you're all having a marvelous Monday. I can't tell you what my Mother's Day was like because I haven't had it yet. Um, on Saturday, my plan is to get, um, last Saturday for you guys, would be is to get my hair done and then my daughter's supposed to pick me up and we're going to go out to lunch for the first time in over a year. Outdoor seating only with masks. As we're not, our town hasn't released that and isn't going to from what I understand we're stuck with that indefinitely. So we're going to go out to lunch and eat on the outdoor patios. Every single restaurant in town has it. So we'll figure out which restaurant we want to go to once my I'm done with my hair. And then we're going to do a little shopping and maybe we'll go to the thrift stores if any of them are open on Saturday. I think actually one of my favorites is open. I think the hospitals, Hazel Hawkins Thrift might be open on Saturday. Um... So we'll probably go there in the Dollar Tree and, oh, I like that. Put a little lace or something with it or, or doily or something. And of course I didn't bring over my bag of goodies. Let me see. I put it away thinking I didn't need it, but you just never know. I don't know why I never think I need that. I always need that bag of goodies, and I also always need my doilies, and I do have to get some more white doilies. I went to buy some the other day, and they were completely sold out, so I think I'm going to have to go make a trip to the next town over, which is about 15, 20 miles away, to Michael's, and get go to their uh, depart their baking department and get some small um, doilies. I do have my vintage doilies here, which I don't always like to use. Ooh, I only have two left of that size that I want. I have a bunch of... Oh, here's another one. A bunch of heart doilies. I may start using those. Yeah. Okay, that's what I need. I'm thinking the beige might be too dark for this project. Let me look. Oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. 
well, I don't think on this one, but I do see another one that it might work on, so I'll just set it aside. And I'm just gonna take a little bit off here. I should take off like about three, three bumps, lumps, whatever you wanna call it. Ooh, too much on this one for sure. Okay. Trying to decide where I want to put that. Maybe something lighter in there, like a tag or something. I mean, a little, like, number or something. I usually like to rip these, but I'm finding today that it's, um, I need it to be a little more precise. So I'll put a little pink. Hope you're all having a good day. Oh, and I was saying about Mother's Day. And then she and I may come back and craft. Depends on how long we're out. I was saying that my daughter and I would go. She picked me up for my hair appointment. We go have lunch and maybe do some shopping. And then maybe go back to the house and do a little crafting together. I, I don't think we'll have time for the crafting, but who knows. And we're going to do that Saturday instead of Sunday. That way she could spend time with her girls on Sunday. And they could do something for their mama. So... Traditionally, she and I actually spend Mother's Day together on Mother's Day. In fact, we, a lot of the times, um, go to the coast, she and I, for a weekend. But ever since COVID, we haven't gone. Um, we go stay at our favorite hotel there. That's right on the cliffs of Pismo Beach, which we love. Which we will do again. I owe her one, so we'll have to see when she and I are going to be able to go to our favorite beach for a weekend or a couple days. See if my... Hubby will watch the kids while she and I go off to the coast for three days. As soon as we're allowed to do that. California's still pretty shut down, but from what I heard, if our numbers stay down for the next few days, I guess, or the next week, I'm not sure how long. I don't know what the deadline was. My husband was telling me. I really wasn't paying that much attention, but, um, so we could then go after that, but. They're going to open up California, finally. We have not been open, so it's been like living in wasteland for the last year and a half. Our governor <laughs> shut us down good and hard. About killed the entire economy. California is a big state, and when it goes down, everybody goes down. So Parts are not being made for computers and electronics and all the things that Silicon Valley is known for. So, hasn't been fun here. Oh, that's pretty. I think I like that. All right. And then maybe just a little number or something. There's my little numbers. My pretty little numbers. Hmm, I don't think there's any. Well... The pink one is not a good pink. So let me see about my other set. I think these that I'm working on right here, um, this set is by Tina Shabby Dabby Judah. This is by Artsology, which are kind of a copy. I'd say they're almost a direct copy of Tina's, but the difference is they have colors she doesn't have. Um, I actually kind of like the the green number. I mean, I have these. It's too. Nope. Hmm. What about these? Nope. I'm looking to see what else I might have in this. Now, believe it or not, these shades are off just a tad, and this is the better one right here. I think this is Artsology. I'm not sure. Hmm. 
Yeah, designed by Artsology. I do use these a lot. Some of these are stickers and some of them are just on a nice board. I won't get all these done today. I just want to do like one or two of each and then, um, you know, just to share with you some of the pieces I needed to get done. I do a lot of work off camera. I'm trying to fill up my shop. You know, I, I won't put anything in. Now, my traditionally when I have things in my shop, I work, work, work. I have a bunch of stuff. I post it and then I don't do any more for a while. I don't put things in just one at a time. So don't run over and see if I put anything in because I didn't. You'll know when I do, I will tell you all. Because you're my followers, you will be the first to know, well, the second to know. Um, Miss Scales told first because she helped me launch everything and she gets first dibs. And then if she doesn't buy everything, then you guys get a shot at it. So... <laughs> But you are the first, you really are the first to know out there in the world um, before it goes on Instagram or anywhere else. So you'll be the first ones to, to know if there's something in there. So there's one of those lovely tags. You open it on up and you've got a beautiful writing space. And then you also have, if you had a dark, a very dark pen, you could write on this or you could just put strips of paper on it to make it for even more journaling space. So I think that will look lovely in a pocket. So that's the first one done. And, okay, this one doesn't have anything on it yet. I'm wondering if I want to put, like, um, but that would leave, if I do that, I'm just talking to myself here, what I would want to put there. Oh, that's a pretty butterfly. Hmm, I like that. Ash, I like that a lot. Okay, let me see if I have one of my little... Oh, and it's in card, too. And there we go. Got it. And got it. That was easy. Whew, that was way too easy. What happened there? Alrighty. Here we go. We got to ink again. Even I get tired of inking, but I need it because I won't be happy with it if I don't. So we'll just ink and think and chat. So Sunday for actual Mother's Day, I'm not sure. Um, it used to be my husband would take me off to the movies or the beach for the day or, you know, we used to all, the whole family with my sisters, whoever was here, my brother-in-law, anybody that wanted to go, we used to all go off to the beach together. But we're not allowed to have groups anymore to go to the beach, so we can't do that. Uh, so maybe, I don't know if my husband, I don't think we'll go anywhere. I think what we might do is, if there was a movie playing, he would take me to a movie, but... I looked at the movie theater and they still don't have the good movies out yet. So maybe we'll binge watch a chick flick that I want to watch on Sunday. Eat bad food, lots of candy. No, <laughs> just eat good food. <laughs> watch movies, popcorn. But what I might have them do is my favorite thing is the hot dogs from the movie theater. And they give us a giant, giant bag plus a giant refill bag. I mean, I'm talking a bag like clear up to the camera from the tabletop of popcorn. So I may have asked him to do that for me for Mother's Day for lunch and movies and we'll just movie at the house, you know, and, and chill and do nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, I hope to FaceTime with my little grandbabies in Arizona. So my son, daughter-in-law and babies there. Uh, and I'll see my other granddaughters hopefully on Saturday. Maybe at their house before Jolene and I come here to hang out. We'll see. Or when she goes home, we'll go over there with her so I can see my granddaughters for Mother's Day. They call it Grandmommy's Day. <sighs> like this. So much to do on this one. Wow. But this is part of the time-consuming part, consuming part. It's part of my detail work that I do. I think it's what makes it my work, is that I try not to skimp on any little part for me. I mean, for my work. That's how I do my work. So if all of a sudden I don't do it that way, you'll know I was skimping. You know what I mean? I'm not referring to anybody else. 
for those of you who buy my work, you know what I do. So if I suddenly don't do it, you'll be like, hey, what are you doing? Are you cutting corners on us, lady? So, although sometimes I wish I did simpler work. I just don't know how <laughs> I get tired of this. But I do have a new style I want to try. I have some really cool, um, really cool traveler's notebook journals I want to do. And um, how did I do that? Oh, there we go. I got myself confused. I didn't make these or anything. <laughs> okay. I can see I need to burnish this better. It's like not wanting to. That's a hard burnish right there. That's a hard burnish. Okay. I'm going to want to do this about halfway. Let me put the butterfly on. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty and soft. I love it. It's going to be one of those I'm going to want to hoard, you watch. Why we hoard the things we make, I don't know. I kind of hoard these butterflies that I'm making. I love having a plate full of them. I need to get that down or I'm going to end up gluing it closed. You watch. Not my first rodeo. I have glued them down more than once. Oh, by the way, I want to thank Amy at Crafty Cat for mentioning my um, YouTube channel on her channel. And hi, Amy. Thank you so much, sweetie. I really, really appreciate it. Isn't it great about this community? We all help each other out. I'm a longtime fan of Amy, uh, Amy's. I've been watching since she gosh not the very very beginning but pretty darn close um i actually won two of her um drawings i was watching so much and commenting and she was the inspiration for my my um my giveaway thank you very much amy we all borrow from each other <laughs> yep see i glued it oh no okay i knew that was going to happen so we're just going to have to ink that it didn't ruin or rip it anything. It just kind of took some of the paper off. All right, I'm going to let that dry. Yeah. My luck, I'll do it again. So thank you so much, Amy. I really, really appreciate the help growing my channel and the share. She had um, borrowed my idea for the clear pockets that I put into my um, inspiration journal. And did something cool with it on her own channel. So that was really a lot of fun to watch. It took me a while to watch it though. I'd had another one of my lovely migraines. So I didn't get to watch it when I wanted to. But I'm looking to see if I have any. any family. Oh, that's pretty. I love that. What else have I got? Hmm. I like that one. It needs a bit of a trim though. Needs a haircut. There you go. A lot of times if I'm not crazy about the frame and I like the sentiment, I will um, cut it off all the way down to the inside and then, uh oh, I lost my, oh well. I know that's the middle and I kind of need to work there. <laughs> so, visual reminder. This feels like it's just card. Yeah, I don't think there's a sticker on this. Um, maybe right about there. I want to keep this one simple. I just think it doesn't always have to be, you know, Lay some pearls in about a, I say that and then I'm thinking, oh, but I might want lace on there. <laughs> you girls know me, right? I heard you. But what about the lace and the pearls, Lorette? You're right. What about it? <sighs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I think I need my little lace bucket, which is right next to my desk. Oh, this time I at least did not fall off my chair. 
That would have been so embarrassing. Oh my goodness, I'll tell you. It'd be like, I'm fine, I'm fine. I didn't hurt myself. Or I did hurt myself and I'll be back later. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, I got the lace. See, I knew I couldn't do it. I couldn't, I tried, I tried, I tried not to use my lace, but I couldn't help it. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I love lace. It's my favorite. Just barely going to hit that with some very, another vintage lace I've had a long time. I have a spool of it. Although I will be heartbroken when I do run out of it because, I mean, it is one of my staples. I have like three or four little laces I use all the time and I am going to be heartbroken when I run out of them. All right. Oh, where are my little pearls? I can see I'm already running out of time. Can you believe it? Ah, I mean, I still have 25 minutes, but that 25 is going to go like that. It's going to be crazy. It just goes so... I'm looking for my little, little, little scissors. And my scissors I use on my pearls that don't seem to mind the glue. I mean, I do clean them with alcohol all the time. Sorry about the elbow. Mm. Oh my gosh, this stuff's crazy. Crazy sticky. Crazy, crazy sticky. Cray, cray. All right. Yikes. And I think I'll put this over here. Did my five, you know, I like my three, five, seven, and nine, whether it's pearls or bling or whatever, uneven. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Let me go like this. There we are. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to call that a day. That one's done. Where'd this pin come from? Hmm. Did that come out of my other one? One I was just using? Yeah, it did. These are actually my mom's pins. Um... She gave them to me. Come on, you. Because if I don't do this, it'll unravel in the box. I'll never find the lace again. So isn't that pretty? So we did... Where'd that other one go I already made? Huh. I lost it already. What in the world? How did that happen? You know, you know there's too much stuff on your desk when you lose what you just made. <laughs> All right, there we go. So there's those two, done. Signed, sealed, and delivered. All right, I'm gonna put those aside. I am going to do, um, before I go on to the others, I want to do, I cut these all off of those master boards I did the other day. Remember when I was cutting around everything? And so I wanted to do a little bit of stamping and use my new stamp plus some others. I have this one, I have this. Um, I have a whole bunch of stamps, so I thought I would kind of play with some of my favorites and see what I could get made, you know, uh, besides, you know, just working on the other, the other pieces. So I'm going to do a couple of those before I run out of time. Oh, and I had to show you something. I made this. This is my little color swatch. And these, I found, I used one of my favorite uh, stamps. And what I did is I every single um, oxide or distressing that I have, I stamped it on and wrote what it was. So when I wanna find a color for a project, I have this wonderful little sample card. Now I did just get, whoa, what, three or, I got one, did I get, I got one new color, one or two new colors, which I don't have on here yet. So I will get another piece of cardboard. This is a card stock. It's a pad of card stock I have already pre-cut and um, I'm gonna do I got some new greens and I think a new pink and a new blue so what I'm gonna do is add the new ones on here and I try to do it every time I get a new ink color so when I want to work on a project and I say oh what do I have all I have to do is use my little my little ring of goodies yes I wanted to share that with you today this was one of my shares was my um, my ink sample on a ring so there's that 
All right, now these are the goodies that I ripped off the other day. And this is my vintage, some of this is my vintage book page. So I'm kind of grabbing that first. And I want to use this one and I'm just going to use that in my, I like my vintage photo. I'm going to ink that up. I, I think I showed this the other day this new stamp I got, which I just absolutely adore. I do let it sit on there for a bit, and that was Gail who told me that, um, or told us that on one of her videos, so that it has time to soak into the papers, which I never did that before and wondered why I was having all kinds of problems. You know, I have this little bit here, so I wanna see what will fit on that. So I pulled out some more smaller and I'm gonna sit back here and see if I can get this one on. Oh, that came out cute. Okay, so that's two little pieces. And then I have this one. Let's see what would go on here. Maybe that, what else do I have? What else? I have, oh, I have this pretty little rose I really like. And I have this stamp called Cherish. Now it's not all gonna fit on there on any of these. So what I'll do, I know this isn't waterproof, don't care. It's just for an embellishment. I was looking to see if I had a piece of paper or something I could stamp on I mean you know stamp off or or stamp on and I, and I do have stamp on sheets um, that I've done but I think they're like almost all full let's see if I oh, I do have one this one's brand new I haven't even used it so I'm gonna actually stamp this off I may use it again which is why it wasn't stamping it off but I don't want to dry on there while I'm deciding what I'm going to do. Oops, I just knocked everything out of the floor. Oh, well. So what I want to do is put this on here. Let's see if I can get the word cherish in the middle. That's really all I care about is the word. Now we'll see if I blew that or not. Yeah, there we go. Cool. All right. And then, I haven't lost my ink pad. I love this little rose. It's impressive stamps, it's called. It's old, it's been around forever. Probably the 70s. There we go. So all those will get cut up later or ripped. And I will stamp off. Okay, um, what, I gotta get closer, I'm gonna fall on the floor. What else do I have? Oh, you know, I do have this wide piece, so maybe I could do the Cherish on there. And then I can just rip around it, you know however I want it to be. Not bad. It's light, but that's okay. I don't mind that. Um, I do have... Oh, I love this one. My crown. I love my crown. I am going to have to re-ink this pad when I'm done doing this today because I'm using up all my ink. Super light, okay. I probably need a darker ink for that or I needed to push it down more or it's just the paper that it's on. It'd probably be look better on that side. Let's see what it looks like on the back side of that. 
I haven't used this in a really long time. I should have cleaned it first. I usually like to take my baby wipes or a wet one, clean off, clean them off before I start inking them. Let's see if I could see that. Let's see, I think I missed on this one. I think it's off the paper. Not all of these will be a success, but these are scraps, so I don't care. Eh, not great. Either way, so not great. Okay, so this one definitely needs to go into my needs to be cleaned pile. And I'll try it again another time. How about my butterflies? Pretty. I love it on that. I just noticed I have got glue everywhere. Goodness. Okay. Pretty. Let's try this one. And like I said, I will rip around these and then they'll just go in a little envelope or a box or a bowl to be used in my work. More stash building. So that's what Make It Monday is. Today I'm making things for my stash. I probably won't get to that other ephemera. We'll, we'll do that on another one. I've got plenty of days of the week to film, I'm sure. Maybe work on it Wednesday. I'll work on those other ephemera pieces that I showed you in the very beginning. Because right now I'm having fun playing with my stamps. Make sure I stamp these off a little bit. Okay. Um, well, I got a lot of stamps to clean tonight. <laughs> they will all get washed, every one of them. Okay, so those are done. So what will happen is I'll just, um, you know, do this. And isn't that cute? See? All done, ready to go. That actually can make a little a little goodie. And then we would just rip a few of these. And you know, there you have it. You have some really cute things to add to your um, just from scraps. These are just things I ripped off of other things and they are just darling. So, you know, they're cute for your botanical work or your vintage work or your Victorian work, shabby work. I could do it in pink. I have all, I've got all kinds of colors and yeah, you could do it on your permanent ink pads, but I really like the way they look on the distress inks, but that's just me to each her own. I just love this saying, there is always something to be thankful for. And I agree with that wholeheartedly. So, mm, there you go, see? And then this one gets a little rippy and it's ready to use. There you are. Oh, this one needs to be ripped too. There we are. So, let's see. Um, I'm looking to see what else I have on my desk. Oh, I really want to try this one. This is a brand new one. I haven't used it, and I want to see how it works. And then I'm going to wrap this up. Believe it or not, we've already been at it for almost an hour. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. My, how time flies when you are having a good time in your studio playing. I hope you all came along and played today, worked on a project, either did what I was doing or, you know, worked on your own or maybe you're cleaning the kitchen or the bathroom or doing your hair or something while you're listening to me. I do appreciate each and every one of you for coming along and liking my channel, commenting, getting notifications and being subscribers. It means the world to me. Thank you so, so very much.
They're also special. Well, there you go. That's kind of fun. Hmm. I could see doing that again. Let me see one more. I hope you will all have a marvelous Monday. And I will see you on Work On It Wednesday, which um, I don't know yet. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of at a quandary as to what I'm going to do for Work On It Wednesday. Probably finish a couple of those pieces of ephemera and then um, show you some projects we're going to be working on. I do have something I want to show you real quick before I go off. And this is my mass makes. Oh my gosh, I don't think it's going to fit in the with Tina that I've been working on forever. Um, they're not all here, but there's a good portion of them. And so what I want to start doing is when I'm working, I'm making on Monday or working on Wednesday or finishing on Friday, is going to be working on these pieces that I have made. I have this huge, oh, I got to put this down, it's heavy, bundle um, of goodies that I made with Rachel on her channel on Roxy Creations. These are these darling little kind of ephemera file folders. And it was using one of her, her um, digitals and also with glassine bags. So uh, this is kind of how I did mine. Um, dependent, there's small bags and big bags. And then this one is doubles. So look how much ephemera you can put in there. Aren't those amazing? And then they need their string and I need to decorate them up. So this is what I'm going to be doing on one of those days. This is a fun project we have coming up. Not making these, but decorating them. I'm getting them ready to go into my shop and maybe put them with some other fun little pieces that are from that same, that are very um, Italian, European looking. So, and I've worked really hard to age them and make them, they feel all yummy and they're crunchy and they're just, oh, I love, love, love these. So these are coming up on our channel. I made these with her last year and they have been sitting in my stash this whole time. And I'm like, it is time. It's time. It's time. I got to stop hoarding these. I know I love how they feel and they look and they feel like the real thing, but they're not. They're made with um, parchment paper and they've been worked and loved and inked and wet and just all kinds of fun things to age them. And then they have, you know, a nice little, um, oh, what do you call those? Eyelet ready for, ready for string. So that's what we're going to be working on coming up uh, next week and the week after. We're going to work on something like that. We're going to, um, on Wednesday, possibly work on finishing these and maybe this one if I haven't done it by then, you know. And anytime I get a chance, we'll do some quick stamping so that, you know, I have more things to play with. And you guys, if you're doing it along with me, you will be building your stash too. So I hope you'll do that. So I want to thank you all for coming on into the studio today, hanging out with me, maybe doing a little crafting. I love you all, and I'm so happy you're here. And um, I hope you will have a marvelous evening, and I will see you all very soon. Love and hugs, guys. Bye-bye.